Hey, what's up everybody? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Let's add a model from one of our Lib4Ds. This is our city pack. We'll add a fire hydrant. Now, a lot of times when you add a model, the axis point will be a little bit off. So if we rotate this around, you can see that it's definitely not centered and we're getting some wonky rotation. If we wanted to put this in the center, say we're doing a turntable or something, we want to be right in the middle. One thing you could do is uh, check this button over here, which is the enable axis tool. And that way you can move the axis point wherever you want it. So then you can go into your four view and sort of try to dial it in exactly in the center, but this is all just sort of eyeballing it. And let's go ahead and uncheck that. And if we rotate, it's it looks a lot better, but it's still wobbling just a little bit. So it's really hard to eyeball the exact center of an object. Let's go ahead and put that off center just so that we can illustrate this a little bit better. So I'm gonna show you the, the really quick way to uh, put your axis center right in the middle of an object. And that is under mesh under axis center. Now we have quite a few different options under here. Center axis to, uh, center axis to parents, children, whatever. But we wanna click on this axis center and that's gonna open up a dialog box. So here are all of the options that we have for axis center. Now we want to just execute this, but this button is grayed out. That's because we have to highlight our fire hydrant. And then if we click execute, nothing's gonna happen. That is because we have a bunch of um, objects in this hierarchy that we need to make sure that we account for. So we need to click include children and we're gonna use all objects. And that's pretty much all you have to do because we are centering the axis to, and we are centering the axis to all points right here, which is exactly what we want. So we're gonna click execute and you'll notice that it jumps over here. And if we hit execute, the model jumps. And right now, if we look around, it's exactly in the center. And if we hit rotate and we rotate this around, there's no wobbling. It is exactly in the center of this object, which is great. And uh, if we're doing something like a turntable style animation or something like that, or a wheel on a car that needs to rotate on the exact center, this is the way that you would do that. Just go to mesh axis center and click on that axis center dialog box. Make sure you include children and all objects and then hit execute and you will be in business. Thanks as always for checking out the Pixel Lab. We'll talk to you next time. Ciao.